Uh-huh. It's a noise in the background. What's up, everybody? Russ with rwgresearch.com, quantumgravityresearch.org. Get it, get it, get it done. Here you go. This is a magnet. Actually, it's just a piece of neodymium boron. Anyway, what am I going to do today? All right. Today, we're going to try to use this magnetizing jig that I've created that you saw in my last video. And we're going to try magnetizing a magnet this direction. Now I can tell you I've done quite a few experiments already, but I haven't really documented it, so I'm going to document this one. Uh, now one of my problems, or one of my tests, let me tell you what I've done. I have already taken this before I machined these bevels, all right, while they were still flat, and I just had a flat piece of uh, material, and I'll show you a picture of that. All right, so, um, so I did that before machining these to see if it would work and I figured maybe there was a lot of wasted flux between the iron and not focused into the magnet. Two, this is the second problem and thing I'm working on, is since these, when, when they do make these magnets, they do heat them and cool them uh, and ori orientate the material inside of these uh, blanks, which is what they'd be originally, and it orientates the, the material inside to help focus the strength of the magnet. However that really works in scientific terms, don't ask me, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm just saying internally the structure is cooled in the correct orientation so that when you magnetize it, it holds the best potential in that direction. Now, if that's true, then one of the things that I think I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up one of these magnets to the critical temperature, which is over 800 C, and put it in these blocks uh, with magnets on the outside of here and let it cool underneath a slight magnetic field. I'll mark the magnet and then we'll try to get it to uh, magnetize in that orientation. So it's going to take a little bit of setup and to get all that stuff done, but that's what we're going to try to do. Um, so let me show you what my best attempt is so far. Okay, so you guys have already seen the uh, magnet that I tried in the other test. Okay. And um, so this is a pretty clean looking pattern. Matter of fact, it's about one of the best that I've seen so far. And this is just playing with these iron cores and the, uh, the magnetizer and trying to get this thing to work out. Okay, that's a different one. That's also looking fairly decent. So let me wipe this again, kind of clean it up. There's one. And there's a different one. Now, on the edge of this magnet, which is where some of my problems are, okay, you can see the field is fairly well in the center, but like on this one, it's almost completely on the edge. See, it's not even on the edge. It's just completely... I know it's hard to see, it's just completely whack. And that's that's the one, the one that doesn't look right, it's the one that makes this pattern. So the one that, uh, the one that's more accurate looks like that, where you've got a nice clean pattern. So we'll see if cooling these things under a controlled environment is going to help the potential of magnetizing in that orientation. We'll see. So, here's what we got. Okay, I've got these with magnets on the back side. Alright, so they do stick to each other. Alright, they also fall off. Now, according to the Greece Galactic Goss Wand, alright, thanks to my good buddy uh, in uh, Hawaii, Jack Schultz named this bad boy. I built this a long time ago. So according to, uh, according to it, we have a north field on this side. We have a south field on this side. So the idea is to heat up the magnet, stick it inside of here, okay, and let it cool underneath that external magnetic field to see if we can create a stronger magnetic field. Because currently, I can only get a certain amount of gauss out of one of these magnetized sideways. So, let's try it.
Okay, so I got this magnet up to 800 plus degrees Fahrenheit. So we're gonna try it glowing red hot. That's pretty hot. So um, I got it marked and we will do some tests now. Let's see what happens. All right, here's the results. With the heated magnet, let's look at the side. Still the same result. Not too bad. Fairly straight line. Still a little skewed on this side. Let's check it with the meter because the strength has been my problem so far. I haven't been able to get the same strength levels out of this thing. Yes, it's pretty weak. Meters on 20k. Now, I'm going to just repeat this test over and over and over. And I'm just going to keep charging this thing until I've hit it 10 or 15 times to see if it helps at all. That's what we'll do. Alright, I hit that a bunch of times to see what it looks like. Well, that's better. Actually, it's kind of worse. It's kind of pulled the field out and kind of curved it a little bit. Let's see what our gauss is. Alright, well, my conclusion so far is using the iron core as a flux focusing device to magnetize this thing this way just is not working out very well. So, I think what I'm going to do is try to use the air core device. Since I've curied this in the correct direction, we're going to try to use this guy and see if we can uh, create anything any better. Possibly, uh, for some reason, the uh, iron core just isn't focusing it very well. I don't know. Let's give it a go. Okay. I did that with the air core jig. Let's see how it changed. Now it's skewed again. Not really in the center, but my focus is whether or not it helped on the strength. That's what I'm curious about. Very little, if any at all. Eh, maybe a little bit. So there's my conclusions. Um, Okay, so I decided to take the same magnet and magnetize it the way it originally was before I set the Curie temp. And it appears like it magnetized it just fine. So, let's check the strength. Yet again. Almost full potential. That's pretty much full. 5,000. So, there's an interesting conclusion to some tests. Setting the Curie and then magnetizing it 
didn't seem to affect it a whole lot. There might be some internal stuff going on, but not externally. I don't know. All right, so just because I wanted to try it out, I machined the edges off of this so that when the magnet's in there, you can see there would be an edge. So these are apart a little bit further. Thinking that maybe the flux would focus better if it was further apart instead of possibly bypassing the magnet. I don't know. All I can say is no matter what I've tried so far, with this particular neodymium magnet, I cannot get it to magnetize in that fashion. Um, and, I, I mean I can, but it doesn't hold its strength. It's a very, very weak magnet. Okay. These, these barely have any, they hardly even stay on there. Where are these guys? I mean, I can't even, you know, these are all broken, but I can't even pull them apart very well. So, uh, I don't understand exactly why these do that. I don't know. On the other hand, this neodymium chunk, all right, did indeed magnetize in this weird fashion. But it's not quite as, as strong as either. So I don't know. We'll just have to do more testing, find out what the deal is. More later. See ya.